for when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they allure through the lusts of the flesh, through much wantonness. Those that were clean escape from them who live in error. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption, for of whom a man is overcome of the same is he brought in bondage. The kingdom of darkness through the beast system mastered how to keep the indigenous black people distracted. The more distracted the indigenous black people become, the further away they drift from the most high. For Satan to control the earth, his people, the seed of the fallen, and the heathens who attach themselves with the kingdom of darkness must control the physical realm. If the wicked are not in control, it would be impossible for Satan to be the God of this world. The scripture said the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Because the indigenous people gave away their blessings to the heathens and the seed of the fallen, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The scriptures did not say the wicked took control of the earth. It was given to the wicked. A lot of indigenous people believe the beast system is keeping them down. When it comes to the Israelites, they believe the curses are the cause to their stagnant conditions. A lot of indigenous people do not like to hear that their own wickedness is holding them back. The curses are in place and continue to ravish Israelites in every generation because of sin. If the people of the Most High was doing what is right, they would gain the favor of the Most High. Remember me, O Lord, with the favor that thou bearest unto thy people. O visit me with thy salvation. To the indigenous people with the mentality that the beast system is keeping you down, the beast system finds success because you refuse to repent and take your place. In addition, the indigenous people want to break bread with their enemies. A kingdom or household that invite their enemies to befriend them would surely fall. Remember, the seed of the fallen traveled the world, befriended the indigenous people all over the world. Once they gathered enough information, they conquered the indigenous people. If the indigenous people fail to take their place as the keepers of the earth, the kingdom of darkness will continue to rule until the times of the heathens end. If the kingdom of darkness can keep the indigenous people consumed with the affairs of this world, a separation will take place between the Most High and his people. Satan sow a seed of discrimination, racism, division, and poverty to keep the indigenous people distracted. In every generation, black people are fighting the same battle and no progress is being made. By keeping the indigenous people distracted, the people of the Most High cannot obey what the Most High command of them. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. If the people of the Most High are not adhering to the commands of the Most High, they would be in rebellion. Rebellion is sin. The scripture said, sin separate us from the Most High. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. Israelites, do you understand why the indigenous people go around in circles? They are being deceived by the kingdom of darkness to remain in a sinful state. Israelites, it is important to not let the kingdom of darkness distract you from doing the will of the Most High. Some of you are in rebellion unawares. If the indigenous people continue to worry about the affairs of this world, they will never submit to the Most High and humble themselves. You must learn to live in this world and not be partakers of this world's affairs. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. Living in this world does not mean you have to follow the heathens. The Most High command His people to live among the heathens in every generation. Until your redemption come, you are to live among the seed of the fallen and the heathens. Today we have Israelites fighting to be included into the beast system. No matter what you do, the world is not going to accept you. The Most High will not allow it. 
Remember, Israelites, the world is an enemy to the Most High. Therefore, the Most High will not have the people that is made in his image involved in the very system that is against him. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. We must stop worrying about this world. Remember, everything in this world is temporary. On the day of judgment, everything will be destroyed. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Israelites, the world do not uplift the Most High, nor does the beast system care about the affairs of the Most High. You can clearly see today that lawlessness supersedes righteousness. The workers of iniquity do not seek the Most High for answers. They do what is pleasing to their flesh. The beast system has done away with the righteousness of the Most High. The leaders that are in high places do not seek the Most High for answers. That is why the world is an enemy to the Most High. Remember, Satan is the god of this world. The workers of iniquity in high places seek to do the will of Satan. Satan operates in the flesh. The beast system aims to please your flesh. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. When have mainstream media ever encouraged you to seek the Most High, pray and fast? When did your leaders push you to read the Bible? Your leaders encourage you to follow the beast system. The beast system encouraged many to do as thou wilt. In addition, they push you to conform to their standards. Israelites, it is important to not allow the beast system to consume you. Even in the awakening, we have Israelites worrying about the doctrines and laws that came from this world. If you submit yourself to the Most High, the kingdom of darkness cannot deceive you into trading your glory for the lesser. Hath a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? But my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. Being consumed with the affairs of this world take away from what the Most High is doing for His people at such a time as this. Now that the Most High is waking up His people, we cannot allow the kingdom of darkness to deceive us nor distract us with the affairs of this world. The awakening is about repentance and building a personal relationship with the Most High. The awakening is about discovering our culture and returning to serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Israelites, the awakening is about learning truth that was hidden from you. The awakening is about discovering the Elohim of Israel and how to serve him. The awakening is encouraging the people after the Most High's heart. The awakening is breathing the breath of life into the remnant of Israelites seeking the face of the Most High. The awakening is about repentance. A lot of Israelites want to dismiss repentance. Many are seeking to build a kingdom in the land of their captivity. Dwelling in the land of your captivity is punishment, not a reward. Now is the time to allow the Most High to renew your minds. The indigenous people were made to be leaders. When they do not lead, the wicked takes control. The scriptures say when the wicked rule, the people mourn. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Allowing the kingdom of darkness to distract you is how you become indoctrinated. I have heard of many doctrines in the awakening, doctrines that is causing our people to remain stagnant, in addition causing the wrath of the Most High to come upon his people. Israelites, it was important for you to know how to identify the characters in the scriptures. When you can identify the characters in the scriptures, Satan cannot deceive you with doctrines of devils. 
The Most High spent a lot of time helping his people to understand the seed of the fallen. The Most High want you to know who the seed of the fallen are. Many Israelites are mistaking the seed of the fallen for the Gentile nations. A lot of Israelites are consumed with who is Esau, as well as many outrageous doctrines. Many of the popular doctrines circulating in the awakening stems from the kingdom of darkness. Satan is not going to sit back and watch the indigenous people rise. When the indigenous people rise, the times of the heathens will end. The kingdom of darkness is going to react to stop the rise of the indigenous people. To keep the indigenous people in a stagnant state, Satan plant many doctrines of devils in the awakening to cause the indigenous people to stumble. Some Israelites are sinning more than they were in religion. Many are listening to the doctrines that are pleasing their flesh. But the time will come when they will not endure sounder doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. As we grow in our journey, we must recognize the schemes of the kingdom of darkness and rise above them. Remember, Satan operates in the flesh. Satan will plant doctrines in the awakening that pleases the flesh. Israelites, what comes from the spirit is spirit, and what comes from the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. The Most High does nothing according to the flesh. Anything that have to do with the flesh comes from the kingdom of darkness. The Most High is spirit. You cannot please the Most High operating in the flesh. Doctrines that please your flesh are demonic. Don't be deceived, my people. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. The offspring of the angels are the work of the flesh. The Most High was not pleased with the union between the sons of God and the daughters of men. When the offspring of the angels multiply, men wickedness increase. That is why Yah seek to destroy all flesh during the times of Noah. The offspring of the watchers polluted the earth just as they are doing today. The Book of Jubilee explained how violent they were towards themselves and the indigenous people. And they begot sons, the Nephidim, and they were all unlike, and they devoured one another. And the giants slew the Naphil, and the Naphil slew the Eljo, and the Eljo mankind, and one man another. And every one sold himself to work iniquity, and to shed much blood, and the earth was filled with iniquity. Nothing has changed since they evolved. They remain violent towards the indigenous people. In addition, they continue to destroy the earth. Genetically modified food, chemtrails to biochemical wars like coronavirus are a few ways they are destroying the earth. The works of the flesh stems from the kingdom of darkness. By now, you should know the Nehendothals and their various species are the offspring of the fallen angels. You should know the Nehendothals did not die out but evolve. Today, we have people who carry the Neanderthal DNA. We know that the indigenous black people do not have Neanderthal DNA. There are two different species of mankind, the seed of the fallen and the people made in the image of the Most High. The doctrine coming from the disciples of Satan proclaiming Esau is the white male is false. The Caucasian species stem from the seed of the fallen. It is verified that the Caucasoid species have Neanderthal DNA. How could Esau have Neanderthal DNA and Jacob do not? Remember, Esau and Jacob have the same mother and father. Until this day, Israelites in this generation do not have the Neanderthal DNA. The indigenous women have been raped by the slave master during slavery numerous of times. Yet many of the Israelites born in a diaspora, like me, do not have Neanderthal DNA. The Most High has a way of preserving people for his use. Lord, they have killed thy prophets, and dig down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what saith the answer of God unto him? I have reserved to myself seven thousand men, who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Even so then, at this present time also, there is a remnant, according to the election of grace. Just because we live among the heathens and the seed of the fallen does not conclude we all have tainted blood running in our veins. The perception of everyone is mixed is a lie from the kingdom of darkness. Do not underestimate the Most High. 
Do not forget about the Sentinelese tribe living among us. They are uncontacted people and they are indigenous dark people. How come the Caucasian male, who many Israelites say is Esau, carry the DNA of the seed of the fallen? Only the hybrid female and male carry the Neanderthal DNA. The white male roots do not stem from Isaac and Rebekah. Many sons of Israel believe you are what your father is. If the doctrine of you are what your father is were true, this would mean Esau's father is a descendant of the fallen angels and Jacob's father would be Isaac, a black man. The scripture said Esau and Jacob are twins. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. If the indigenous people do not have Neanderthal DNA, how did Esau get the Neanderthal DNA to pass down to his descendants? The sons of God, the fallen angels, are the progenitor to the Neanderthal's bloodline. And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. Esau cannot be the white male if his father is Isaac, according to you are what your father is doctrine. The biological makeup of what makes a person human stems from both the indigenous male and the indigenous female. Israelites, you cannot crossbreed with an evolved Neanderthal and believe you are duplicating yourself, nor consider what was born from a sinful union to be holy. The Most High will not accept the abomination. The scripture said a bastard cannot enter the Most High's congregation. Cross-breeding is forbidden. He shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with a diverse kind. Thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed. Neither shall a garment mingled of linen and woolen come upon thee. Since there are two species of mankind, when an indigenous person procreate with a hybrid, that is cross-breeding. Just as when the Neanderthals cross-breed with the Homo sapiens. Cross-breeding with a diverse kind gives birth to a new species. Cross-breeding a tiger and a lion gives birth to a new species of animal. Likewise, cross-breeding with an evolved Neanderthal gives birth to another species. I do not know how the sons of Israel believe Satan's deception of making Israelite children with the hybrid woman. The scripture said Esau's seed is spoiled. Esau's seed is spoiled because he married many strange women, just like the sons of Israel are doing today. But I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren his neighbors, and he is not. Does this mean the Israelite bloodline is spoiled, since many sons of Israel and daughter of Zion are cross-breeding with the seed of the fallen? How did Esau's bloodline become spoiled again? The descendants of Jacob today are marrying the hybrid woman and men and passing them off as Israelites. Now could you comprehend how Satan is deceiving Israelites in the awakening with doctrines of devils, keeping them in sin? The scripture said Esau had many wives. Israelites, keep in mind the strange women Esau married were indigenous heathen women. They were women from other indigenous nations. Esau married Ishmael's daughter. Ishmael is Abraham's son. Both are indigenous black men. Esau also married the Canaanite women. Esau took his wives of the daughters of Canaan, Adar, the daughter of Elon the Hittite, and Ahalibamah, the daughter of Anna, the daughter of Zibion, the Hivite. And Esau, seeing that the daughters of Canaan pleased not Isaac his father, then went Esau unto Ishmael, and took unto the wives which he had, Mahalath, the daughter of Ishmael, Abraham's son, the sister of Nebajath, to be his wife. The Canaanites are Ham's descendants. Anyone who married the Canaanite women would spoil their seeds because the Canaanites are a cursed people. They practice many abominations with their idol worship. That is why Isaac forbid Esau and Jacob to marry the Canaanite women. And Isaac called Jacob and blessed him and charged him and said unto him, 
Thou shalt not take a wife of the daughters of Canaan. Israelites, Esau's true descendants look just like Jacob's descendants, black and indigenous. I'm not sure why Israelites continue to give their glory to the seed of the fallen. The white male is not your uncle Esau. Your uncle Esau looks just like the indigenous black people all over the world. Esau hated Jacob because he felt Jacob stole his birthrights. Esau did not know the Most High chose Jacob to transfer Abraham's covenant promise. The Most High shared this information with Rebecca. And he said, Thy brother came with subtlety and hath taken away thy blessing. And he said, Is not he rightly named Jacob? For he hath supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright, and behold, now he hath taken away my blessing. And he said, Hast thou not reserved a blessing for me? Due to Esau feeling as if he was betrayed by his brother Jacob, Esau and his descendants war with Jacob repeatedly in the scriptures and throughout their generations. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. Today, the black men will kill another black man in an instant. A lot of black men have deep hatred for each other. That is why black on black crime is high. Black people are wicked towards each other. Somehow they love the hybrids who assist in their downfall. Look how they praise the hybrid woman and men and degrade their own. A black man will think twice before he attack a hybrid male. Let me ask, do you not believe a black man could possess the same hatred we read about between Esau and Jacob in the scriptures towards his brother? Just look at the black neighborhoods and the division among indigenous people all over the world. Today you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The hybrid male many of you mistake for Esau is none other than the seed of the fallen, assuming the identity of the indigenous people all over the world. Satan planted tears into the indigenous population to steal the identity of the indigenous people. The white male is not Esau. Esau is indigenous just like the black people today. Just because the scriptures describe him as being red and hairy does not conclude he is a white male. The hybrid male know exactly who he is. The seed of the fallen would not reveal the truth because the truth is not in them. Only the Israelites were prophesied to lose their identity. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn for ever. Israelites, stop allowing the kingdom of darkness to distract you from what is important. Our focus should be on repentance and serving the Most High, not division, strife, and politics. Who cares about the nations that conspire to cut us off from being a people? They have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Israelites, seek the Most High with all your heart and mind. Lean not to your own understanding. The Most High is doing marvelous things in this hour. Listen to what he is saying to you. Do not allow the doctrines of devils to take root in your spirit. The Most High will judge Esau and the seed of the fallen. That divine timing is strictly for the Most High to determine. Ask the Most High for wisdom and understanding so that Satan deceive you no more. Wait for the Most High to direct your paths. Israelites, while you wait, repent, humble yourself, and seek the Most High. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, and close up the breaches thereof. And I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old, that they may possess the remnant of Edom. And of all the heathen which are called by my name, saith the Lord that doeth this.